Negotiations are underway for Darren Wilson to resign. Our justice correspondent, Evan Perez, joins us now with the latest. So you're hearing this from whom? From your sources? What are they saying? That's right. Uh, that's right, Anderson. Uh, we're hearing from sources that uh, Darren Wilson is in the final stages of negotiations uh, under which he would resign. Now, uh, you know, he wants to make clear, he's told people uh, close to him that, you know, he wants to make clear that he does not, he's not admitting fault for anything. He doesn't believe he's done anything wrong. But he's doing this mostly because he feels it would be good not only for the community, but also for his fellow officers, Anderson. Yeah, I mean, there had been a report uh, based, I think, on what the Ferguson police said, that he would return to duty if he, uh, if the grand jury did not choose right. to indict him. But that, I think, surprised a lot of people, the idea that in a relatively small community, a relatively small police force like Ferguson's, um, the idea that he would return to the force, whether you, you know, whatever side of this you're on, in that community would probably raise a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of consternation. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, I'll tell you this. I mean, you know, when Ferguson Police Chief uh, Tom Jackson said that uh, in a couple of media interviews, there was a lot of pushback. There was a lot of people who thought this is really absolutely not helpful. It's frankly, uh, you know, inflammatory for him to be saying that. Uh, there, these talks have been underway for for some time. And we know that they're in the final stages. One of the concerns that uh, Darren Wilson has had is that the grand jury has obviously still been hearing evidence, and he did not want to influence the grand jury, Anderson. He wanted to make sure that, you know, they didn't hear that he was resigning and then that way perhaps uh, read into that that he was admitting any kind of fault. And so that's been one of the key things, the linchpin, frankly, in these negotiations.